Shelly Sasson from The Well Outreach. We have a lot of things going on at The Well this month. We're at the end of our fiscal year. We're doing our year end inventory, counting all of the many, many cans and bags of food we have here. And more importantly, we're getting ready to go on to our July 4th fundraiser. I'll tell you just a little bit about that. It's called Run for Hunger. And um, we're really excited. This is our first inaugural year. The neat thing about this is that there's something for everyone in it. Um, the first race is going to be a timed 5K at 7 a.m. And then at 8 a.m. we're going to do a color fun run, which is great for walkers and groups. And it's one of those races where they throw all the crazy powder on you. So that's going to be a great event. And then at 9 a.m., we're really thankful. We're partnering with the Spring Hill Parks and Rec Department this year, and we're going to be putting on Spring Hill's July 4th Bicycle Parade. So I wanted to share this with you because this is how we get funding to buy the food to feed the families at the well. And so this event is so important. What's also interesting about this event is that the well has historically only done two fundraisers. But because of the size of our organization in the last couple of years, because of the amount of families that we need to feed, we needed to transition to three fundraisers. So we're hoping that you'll join us this Monday, July 4th. It's gonna be at Summit High School at 7, 8, and 9 a.m. And you can sign up at springhillwell.org. The other fundraiser that we'll be doing as we go into the fall is the Whole Hog Festival. We actually call it the John Mayer Builders Whole Hog Festival. I believe it's its 15th year running. I have the third year for the well to do it. And this is a wonderful community event. Last year we had about 5,000 local community members come. Uh, we had everything from a day-long entertainment venue with I think seven or eight uh, entertainment acts throughout the day. We had a whole hog calling contest, an antique tractor show. Um, we had a regional crafts fair there as well. So I think we had about 25 or 30 local artisans, crafters, um, everything that you, your heart could desire, especially for fall um, decor items. And then the last thing we had was an all free um, kid zone and everything for your kids to do from pumpkin painting to um, sack races, we had cakewalks. Um, and so that is coming up. It's gonna be on Saturday, October 8th. It's gonna be at Oak Lawn. If you have not been to Oak Lawn, it's a beautiful historic mansion here in Spring Hill, Tennessee. So mark your calendars for Saturday, October 8th for the John Mayer Builders Whole Hog Festival, and most importantly, our fall fundraiser for the well. A little more about the well outreach. If you're not familiar with exactly what we do here, we are a full service food ministry serving families in crisis. And we serve those families, local families, with the gift of food so that they're not having to make difficult decisions between paying their rent and buying food. How that looks is we have an everyday food pantry right here on Main Street, 5306 Main Street. Um, and we're open four days a week for families or individuals, single moms, uh, senior citizens to come in and receive food. There's no qualifications. Anyone in need can come to the well, regardless of where you live. We have an open shop client choice model. And what that means is as you come into our pantry, you're greeted up front by a receptionist and you can sit down, we have water or coffee, and then you're invited in one by one back into a welcome center room. We, couple, we check a couple of boxes for you there, but mostly we listen and offer the gift of acknowledgement and let you know that you're seen as you go through this time. We'll offer additional resources and then we'll have you shop in our pantry. And as you shop through our pantry, you'll be able to pick the food that your family needs the most. You're gonna leave with about a week's worth of groceries. And as I said, anyone in need can come to the well, our food pantry, um, and you can come two times a month. We're actually open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. We're open 10 to two in the morning and six to eight in the evening. And Saturdays, we're open just 10 to two. Right now, the need at the well, the need that we're feeling is so big too. Um, often we speak to people that are just really surprised about the need right here in our local community. Believe it or not, June, as I said, we're right here on the end last day of it here, but June 2022 is gonna be our largest serving month we've ever served since I think about 2008. And we are gonna top this month with serving over 600 families. If your family needs help in other ways, um, we also offer mobile food pantries. We offer 15 of those a year. They're usually held at a local high school. 
anyone in need can come and drive through for that. And then we also offer um, weekend meal support for students in need through our Jetpack program. Currently we support 25 Williamson and Murray County schools. And as your student starts school this year, you're welcome to sign them up for weekend meal support through the Wells Jetpack program. And lastly, I guess just to finish, um, the way that you can help support the well is a couple of different ways. The first one is to help us with food support. Do a, a neighborhood food drive or a church food drive or a Boy Scout food drive. We always need food and that's how we're able to bless others. The second one is to volunteer. We offer um, walk up volunteer orientations every Wednesday at 2.30 or 5 o'clock. Just come on in, it lasts about 30 minutes and we'll get you plugged in to volunteer. And then the last one is actually through a financial gift. We can buy food for about 30 cents on the dollar, so financial gifts go a long way. They cost us about $30 to feed a family in need. Thanks so much for being part of the story of the well.